Yo, 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 we back once again with the True yes. Hip Hop Podcast. Yes. It's your boy DJ Blaze. And that guy again. Wolverine, we back for episode two. Folded two. two. You know how we do. We definitely the new school. But before we get started right now, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel right now. Like, comment, and share right now. On. It helps us out tremendously <laughs> on the algorithm. Me and Wolf appreciate it. All the love y'all been giving us, but y'all ain't been subscribing, so hit that bell. Turn vocal top. <laughs> Bing! And make sure it's all notifications. You heard me? All right, man. Yesterday in the DX magazine, Jay Z is dropping the blueprint for it, but it's not a new album. It's his plan for opening a casino in Times Square, and he's going all out to get the New Yorkers on board with it. Though the Rock Nation Jake pinned an open letter to New York City explaining why he believes his company partnership with Caesar Palace should be awarded a contract to launch a casino in the heart of Times Square. And mm-hmm. the letter published Thursday in several New York newspapers, Rock Nation lends her heart into all positive. It's a proposed Caesar's Palace Times Square will create for everyday New Yorkers as well as city's business. The casino will be reportedly built on the top floor on the eighth level of an existing Times Square skyscraper smack in the middle of Broadway, famed theater district. Some theater owners and producers are um, opposed to the casino by Rock Nation, but it says its bid includes 115 million for diverse theater programs and Broadway employees. Mm. So, uh, if Jay wants to put a casino in Times Square, you know, he's teaming up with Caesar's Palace. He wants the state to get and that license. green. And green. You know? So, what's two things that I take good from this situation, right? Yeah. Um, first thing I take good because they the closest casino is actually in Jersey and I think that's right. Atlantic City. Yep. So that will bring a lot Boy, of attraction tourists. to back to New York City because I'm quite sure New York with the economy boosting like this, New York took a lot of hit on right. on I think a, a economy wise as far as and tourism. Wait, what it looked like is they want to compete with Las Vegas. Yeah. And um, have the tourism more in the Broadway, you know. And it'd be good for Broadway, just like in Vegas. You yeah. have those those Broadway shows. Yeah, have the Broadway shows. You can shows. have a Broadway show in the casino and you can right. get live acts in there. Dude. And that's what he said. That's what he's putting in there with the $115 million. Right. To get $115 there. million too. Like, yeah, that's looking out for employees. Yeah. That's going to help the yeah. city and tremendously. And bring in a lot of acts. And bring in a lot of acts. Bring in a lot I of acts. I don't have a residency. Like, I should got a residency never, yeah. in Las Vegas. I have people who have a residency in New York where they be on Broadway. Well. Don't they got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But New York City, is it's more expensive to live in New York than it is in Vegas. Man, they got to pay me more to be on Broadway then. Shit. <laughs> well, I mean, Broadway has its own terms, you know. But, but if, if, that's a, be a, that will be a good incentive. Yeah. Because, I mean, New York is a beautiful place, but... They play for my penthouse in Times Square. It's so expensive. No, Broadway, if I'm like a, oh, okay. a star... You know, say like Chris Brown goes there and do a residency, and he stay there for a year. Mm. But they gotta pay for my penthouse, and then I do the show. You yeah, know, and get I mean that's all too. included on the contract. Yeah, you know, what you doing? But I mean, but that's a good look for New York. Like I said, in said, those two ways, they said this uh, some part of the city is hating on them and don't want it to come. That's because it's competition. Of uh, fine, it's competition. They feeling like, okay, if more people go to the casino, they might not going to walk to the Broadway shows, which is not true. But it's a, you see how big that skyscraper was? Yeah, it's eight, it's eight, eight floors. It was 56 floors. It's 56, but he will have eight. Yeah, and I mean, that, it's a good look. It's, you're going to have people opposed it regardless. You have people opposing the different casinos and... In I Vegas, buy. you have people opposing building new construction in housing areas and residential areas. You, 
have opposing for everything. You're never gonna have a whole complete agreement. But I think he has a, 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 a very great shot because with the Caesar Palace part. Yeah. You know, they already I mean, in that you business. Know, you know, he just I mean the mob up. been trying to get a casino there for you for uh, ever. You know they have. Get their gambling license in New York. You know they have. Look, whoever owns Caesar's Palace, they already got the probably they some already got it. Remember? You know, they just gotta I'm get sure approved by New York City. You know, I'm pretty sure they're gonna give it to them by the end of the year. Oh, who knows? I hope they do, because it just is gonna help that city. It's gonna help New York City. Of course it's gonna bring you know and boost the economy because it's giving more jobs. Not only more jobs, it's bringing a big attraction to the city. A lot of people say they want to go to New York and go to the Big Apple and go down to, uh, uh, to the Statue of Liberty. Statue, you know, now people want to um, include going to the casino there. Yeah. I mean, you can look at, the look at the response he got just from opening up the 4040 Club. Yeah, that was a good look. You know, so. Jake been the uh, man. You, yeah, he's New the York. man in New York and he's, a, you know, he's this big figure in New York. Everybody know when you relate, say New York, you're going to say Jay-Z. So... If you had a choice to have dinner with Jay-Z or 50 Cent, who would you have dinner with? Mm, that's a good choice. It depends on one thing. Because it depends on how willing they willing to have the dinner. Because some people will say, you went to dinner and you no. just sitting there and somebody, they don't even feel like they moved for like talking. No, 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 no. Like if they came to me and be like, Blaze, you want to talk to Jay or you want to talk to the 50? They both I'm, interested in talking to me. I think I'm going to talk to 50 because of what he got going on and how close he is to the culture, you know, with the shows and the music. And I think he will give genuine advice because he genuinely tried to help. That's what I'm the, asking um, you. That. That's the, what I'm the asking you. The G-Unit, but they didn't want to. But I I'm, think he will genuinely, like how he helped same his thing, little But you, you got to say the same thing for Jay-Z because he... But he let... What he let... Bleak go break well, man. You no, know what I'm no, saying? No, he didn't. He, yeah, gave Blake, he, did. he gave Bleak that liquor. Man, that was Bleak. after the fact, though. Bleak. That was after the fact. Because Bleak was in that Bleak street bankrupt. shit. It was in the no, street No, he wasn't. Shit. Man. The, the Rockefeller was over. Man. Remember when Rockefeller It was over, broke, broke and he up. gave, and he still was taking care of Bleak. Bleak Investments so went bankrupt. So why would he go bank what? He went bankrupt with his investments. He made bad choices. Man. And then he still picked up Bleak. And then, what about Freeway and them? They ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? They made millions? Man. Everybody made millions. They made millions. Benny Siegel would they, tell you if he, he wasn't, wasn't in, in his feelings. feelings. <laughs> he made millions, but Benny Siegel went through that whole court process that drowned him. He, he made millions by his own albums with state property. They had a right, they had their own label, bro. Yeah. So they didn't have, they had a chance to make millions, bro. They had a chance to continue on. They couldn't keep the group together because some of fact, everybody was be uh, battling over. That was over. between him and Dame. That's when it... No, it was between uh, yeah, Young and Gunners Dame. and Beanie Siegel. No, the whole, it started with Dame and Jay. I'm talking about state property. Yeah, but they ain't make no money. They crying out that they ain't made no money. They because they didn't. Oh, Chino Sparks and you know what I'm they saying. Didn't, oh, Chino didn't even do nothing, bro. <laughs> they didn't do nothing. That album was wasn't even hitting like that, bro. They and didn't said, sell um, that much. He said Jay Z stole uh, Young Chris' whole style. Like they used to sit in the studio and he would be like spit for me, and he would just sit there and listen. And then then he would take their rhymes and their whole flow pattern because they were so. So you gonna sit? So you still go, man, bro? I don't want to hear that. Bro. <laughs> that's 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 just weak. That's just weak. Mm -hmm. That's those type of stories don't even remotely. They sound like a screeching chalkboard <laughs> when you hear that like crap. That's crap, bro. Oh, he stole my style, Jay Z. Okay, well. He took his your style and did it better than you. My name is Hove H to the Izzo. I used to move snowflakes by, by the, the OZ. OZ. I guess even back then you, you could, could call me CEO of the ROC. Ho, fresh out the frying pan into, into the, the fryer. I'll be the 
Music biz, number one supplier. Fly it in a piece of paper, bear my, my name. name. I got the hottest chick in the game. Wearing my, my chain, chain, that's like, right. Oh, oh. Not, not DOC, but similar to the letters. No one can do it better. I, I check channel like a food inspector. inspector. My homie Strick told me, dude, finish, finish your, your breakfast. breakfast. So that's what I'm going to do. Take the back, dude, with the Lexus fast food. The Jews in the necklace. Let, Let me tell you dudes, dudes what I do to protect, protect this. Shoot at your actors like, like movie directors. directors. <laughs> no, I, I guess that was Chris style. <laughs> if Chris could have made that up, then <laughs> I was listening to the wrong nigga then. <laughs> but that's what they said, man. No, well, shout man. out to Ho, man. I, you know you got haters on man. everything. We were just talking about well, haters. God. How oh, you got how he was hating on Rick. It's like the lowest ones, cause so Chino Sparks said. <laughs> they didn't put in no work. Oh, Chino and them was mainly hustling. They got a little name in Philly after they put in that album. They Did thought they were they already the made album. it and then so they slacked off. Yeah. They slacked off. At first, they came in with that hunger, ready to do everything. Because the Chain Gang was hard. I get that. That Chain Gang album with Chino Sparks, Beanie Siegel, Chris, yeah, yeah. and Neef. It was, yeah. it was nice. But then he got a name out there. So, uh, you know, people feel but then, like that. No, he said, he said Rockefeller broke up when it was time for him to come out. But it, you know how some... You still got to self-promote yourself. Said Dame only gave him twenty thousand dollars, bro. Okay, we did less. We did more with twenty thousand. We did. We had less and did more with. Yeah, like we go again. Like it's the hunger. He took that twenty thousand and bought him a chain. <laughs> bought him little little ride. And got some rims. And got some rims. <laughs> it was it's, and now he riding around the city. Oh, y'all got him out with my album, but he never really finished the album. Yeah. Ten years later, you finished the album. Nobody listening for you now. But all right, man, let us know what y'all think about Jay Z buying this casino. That's a move. And broad away, man. That's a move. I wish, hey, Chris should have stole that style. <laughs> Shoot, that billionaire style. Make sure y'all stream Alpha King on all platforms, man. Spotify, Tidal, YouTube Music, Amazon, Deezer, all the streaming sites, man. Shout out to Grand Rapids, Michigan, man. We out of here. Subscribe right now. Right now. Peace.